All right, so we're back into another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video. This one is featuring an old leader with some new stuff. Blue Green Set 8 Soul Striker, as I call it, the Young Soul Striker. Uh, the only reason is because it's referencing Young Badman as he plays the Kaoken deck. And of course, it's a young soul. But I still have Hatchiak, yes, Hatchiak, Super Baby, and a couple others coming up in these next few days. So definitely subscribe. We're so close to 4K. It's just getting ridiculous at this point. And of course, join the Discord. Still got the untapped turnings going on. And comment what you think. Let's get into the deck already. This one features a lot of blue sayings, as you can see on your screen right here. A lot of them have some sort of synergy with each other uh, and some reasoning with it as well. There's a couple of different things you can kind of do with these cards and as well as you can probably put in blue-green stuff with it or more blue-green stuff with it, but these are pretty purposeful in itself. This is also sort of reminiscent of the top 16, I think the or finals, one of those for the Euros, the Soul Striker deck that people were talking about a couple weeks back, and is sort of inspired by that as well. If we go left to right, we have a Waking Talent Pan, which is going to be your initial Awakener. This one, and as well as a new Kaioken over here, are really good Awakeners in, in these decks, uh, not only because you can play her uh, on turn one, either going for, well, going second really, or whatever your turn one is, you can charge a multicolor, swing with the leader, and then play her, and then comes right back to your hand, and now you have another card in your hand and two swings. She's pretty useful. She's good for arrival if you're playing that sort of variant as well. Uh, this doesn't play any kind of arrival, but is just good as combo power in the first place. It just dies to Shocking Death Ball and a couple others, and as well as even Desperate Measures and a couple other counterplays, so just be careful with that. Then we have Chunks, Hope of the Saiyans. This one searches the top three for blue Saiyans. The reason why we play at four is because he generates so much advantage at two. Uh, you charge a multicolor, and then you charge another multicolor, and that's it. You start playing these bad boys, and this one searches pretty much everything that we see here from the Unyielding Spirit Chunks, which is a good one of just because you can just go ahead and extend your plays if you tap out for something else and then open one more um, uh, one more energy on unawakened side or a third energy on the unawakened side so that way you can kind of continue and, and keep playing what you need to play. The other thing is that both Gogeta and this wall as the new secret which I mentioned that he wasn't originally searchable but now I found a way to search him. He is a blue Saiyan and not only that that the Sun Gohan and Piccolo because it has like 30 tags on it <laughs> is also searchable because this one is a Namekian Saiyan and Earthling I want to say. Uh, plus he is a Sun Gohan and Piccolo so he has a lot of tags. If you haven't picked up these guys uh, I would because he's a really really good uh, companion with the other card that we're going to be uh, taking taking a look at, but really he, since he is searchable, he is always going to be a target for uh, the trunks and as well as just a good target in general because he has a revive and as well as barrier, which he negs a card on out of their hand uh, pretty much every single turn. He's there. Then we have the new Sun Goku over here, the 15k blue green. This one says uh, it has a revival or a revive, whatever you want to call it, uh, and then basically you can't play this with any other skills other than just just playing it as a hard cast. Uh, his activate battle is uh, he gets 15k and as well as triple strike for blue and green and it's perfect in this deck because now uh, when you do go ahead and play him you can go ahead and swing with leader first and then uh, if they decide to pop it, you can go into Revival, and then you can swing with him afterwards, activate Battle for the Blue and Green, because in Awakened side, you have those two energy, and then you give him uh, that Triple Strike and 30k. Oh, I'm sorry, that's only 15 or 10k, so he's a 25k. Still, this with uh, other with the other combo and as well as super combos, you can get up pretty well and pretty quickly. I think this is a good alternative finisher if you don't see your Gogeta or if you just play the long game with the sneak attack and as well as the Piccolo and Gohan. Um, and just overall, just a good card to have. And then we have two of the Kaioken Goku, the new one. It's a three drop in which you play and then uh, you choose one or two life, which you usually choose two because by the time you play two pans and then on the third turn, you go ahead and play this guy and take two. And then what he says is that he gains 5k on, the, on their turn, you go ahead and untap one of your uh, energy at the start of their main phase. So now you're looking at two energy from the leader after you awaken and two cards, two cards from this guy, four cards, and now an untap one uh, with Dimension Magic and anything else like uh, the Gohan and Vegeta the Cruel, you can go ahead and open up more energy and play more things on their turn. Which I can understand if you want to go ahead and play uh, un 
and unyielding spirit or not uh not this one the uh the freehan basically if you want to play that at two or three i can see that this one is just good to prevent four costs or less uh from being played it's just good in general for anything that's not barrier plus it gets a body on board and it's searchable by this we have sync attack vegeta this one is kind of a tech card it's good to have barrier because now you're playing this along with the four drop piccolo what they're going to take a look at in a second um and just bar two barrier cards that constantly give you value in which you are swinging at their leader 15k and they're they're uh, they're uh dropping one uh same thing for the gohan piccolo but this one just has revival and it's a blue blue green this one is a zero cost 5k they have their sort of pros and cons but having this as another target is really good because now you're playing two of the goku here two of the goku here 15ks two of the vegetas and then two vegeta the cruel in the next page here um in order to have the union fusion targets at five energy uh for gogeta so you kind of see where i'm going with that but this guy has barrier again swing uh nega card there you go and then now the new secret there's not really much to talk about for this one again he is searchable now uh he is really good in this deck you can either ramp in order to hard cast gogeta or you can go ahead and uh, finish the game with double strike critical and triple attack at 40k and then swing a swing with the leader and keep your energy up overall is really really good all right taking a look at the other stuff the extras we have the uh absolute release ball which is fantastic because because by the time that you do uh get gogeta out you can either be at five or six energy but usually five um and if they chomp it then you can go ahead and use an absolute release ball i keep talking about this card i keep talking about the other cards if you haven't had these in the SBR in the SBR form, you should because when the competitive uh, season comes around, which is pretty much this weekend, if you're watching this uh, of the week for Dallas PPG Dallas, and as well as next month for Vegas, I think these cards and as well as the other one drops are going to see a lot of play. And then we have the Dimension Magic to untap energy. You already know. Uh, and then we have the other package. So the the tech the tech options here are really just for uh, more control and as well as more value. So with the Piccolo, which is susceptible to uh, denial and as well as uh, preemptive. Yeah, preemptive. And now absolute release ball and the other one drops. Uh, I would watch out for that. But turn three, you're either playing this or you're playing the KO King Goku to awaken. Uh, and you can even play this. And then the KO King Goku, oh well, the KO King Goku, and then this if you tap untap the energy uh, where you need it. And I will say that this deck does not play Bean. I don't crucify me for that, but I would say that I don't think it's really needed. Uh, where you want to be defensive, you kind of use um, either the counter plays or just have Piccolo and as well as the other Gohan Piccolo on board to KO anything that you need to. And then for Bean. I don't know. What I will say is that uh, with these cards to consider down here, which I'll take, take a look in a second or talk about in a second, uh, I would say that if you want to run Bean, take out maybe one of the Piccolos here, maybe the uh, the two Gohans here, and then one of the Gohan Piccolos over here. So that way you can go ahead and play Bean at four. Um, but it's just like, yeah, I don't know. I, every time that I played this deck, it didn't feel like I needed Bean. And I think that the game, unless you're going against like Baby, unless you're going against something like Swap, which I doubt that you will, um, I don't think Bean is really necessary. Even on your turn uh, for untapping, I think Goku in itself and the leader is good enough. But I understand it. I know I, I might be crucified for that, but in, in another version, I would be back and forth of it. Or back and forth on that card. but we have Vegeta the Cruel for uh, more hand destruction we have Piccolo which is probably the most busted combo that you can have you can play the uh, Gohan Piccolo for three and then uh, Piccolo the Cunning Strategist into the Piccolo here and then go ahead and just establish a board that they really just can't get past this is there's a reason why that these are like 14 15 maybe even 20 dollars now i hope they go back down to 10 because that's usually that's about the about the price that these should be um but I only play that three because this is the main target for uh piccolo other than the three drop gohan and piccolo so there you go and they have three of the android 17 i think originally i took out being for these uh so again another option to kind of take out and uh play bean right after and then my favorite finishers over here, already talking about Gogeta, uh, but the Fu or Few Dark Banisher, just really good because now you uh, you're gonna be filling up the drop for Gogeta and as well as Fu, 
and then when you do play foo at four you can go ahead and untap two and then just probably be safe <laughs> and then again the cards consider over here uh, I do like the great ape go uh, Goku over here just to tap two and draw two because now um, you basically draw four on your awaken if you are being attacked enough uh, and then when you do do that you again tap two uh, you flip two when you have four now you have four cards and swing and now you got that energy back and then we have the ultra, ultra instinct Goku uh, in which it is searchable by the uh, the two drop trunks and then you can always play it by the piccolo if you have no other target because it is universe 7 But yeah overall no, I don't think there's, in, there's not there's not many cars that you haven't seen uh, When we take a look at the deck itself again bean is really the only thing that's kind of missing from this I, I mean, I, I played it multiple times without being um, And maybe it's a cyborg card. I, I honestly that's the only thing I can really think of that's really missing from this, but overall it's a pretty solid deck. And I think Awakening uh, is a little bit more important because now when you look at the pros, it is a, it's a nice mid-range Soul Striker goodness. Uh, it does have field and hand control, uh, has multiple attackers that create value from the the uh, counter plays, the barrier cards that most of the time people can't interact with, the Goku in which has revive, or, or, well, revive or can revive, um, and etc. etc. Then we have the Kojita. Seven Piccolo and the Piccolo Gohan, all very very good cards. It has a searchable SCR that was I was talking about, and the multicolor untapping, in which you can go ahead and untap these multicolor cards that we can charge and not worry about too much. It does lose a little bit to red in denial, and as well as uh, a couple other cards like is that all you got to uh, neg the uh, the counter plays, and as well as the Goku. But denial on the Piccolo and as well as the other Piccolo over here feels pretty bad. You kind of want to play into the Gogeta over here, uh, maybe side in, like I said, Sensu Bean and as well as other couple cards uh, to combat that. Not Awakening is bad, like it feels really, really bad. If you feel, if you, <laughs> since he doesn't uh, draw on his uh, Unawakened side, it feels really bad not to Awaken. Um, I don't know how else to explain that, like you need to awaken as soon as possible, uh, so that's all I can really say about that. The burst is kind of RNG, which is another reason why the Great Ape Goku might be really good in this, in which if you burst that, it doesn't feel too bad because now you can actually use that card in the drop. And then of course Borgos and Whis, the new cunning cards don't really affect, or doesn't actually affect um, the Sun Goku, and you don't play Bean, and I don't think there's really anything else that, oh, the Unyielding Spirit Trunks, that's really, that's really about it. Oh, uh, Unyielding Spell, well, no, 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 no. Because I think the cunning cards, let me take a look at that. Okay, yeah, the cunning cards say if the turn player untaps energy, they have to warp five. Uh, but this one is untapping energy on their turn. So I would imagine that it doesn't get affected by that. But Borgos and Whis uh, still affects the Sun Goku uh, leader. So if you want to build a sideboard, I would definitely build a sideboard for like Crisis Crusher or uh, pretty much any of the new cards. Like any of the new cards uh, removes one cost pretty easily. Uh, I think in this deck currently, the Piccolo combo here, the Vegeta the Cruel, and as well as Undying Spirit and Trunks, or Sun Gohan, um, that's, those are all really good options to, to take care of it. Really looking at the deck now, I, I think overall I've had a lot of fun with it. Again, I understand, no bean, just add it. This is, this is not the perfect list, but it is damn good. I, I, I promise you, <laughs> like this one is pretty fun, and I think a lot of uh, uh, people who love Soul Striker might really like this list as well. Tell me what you think. Um, and yeah, I mean, when we're talking about Mulligan, we're looking, we're, you're really looking for the Kaioken Goku as well as the, the pain over here. Uh, turn three or four turn three, you do want to see the trunks so that way you can search pretty much half of your deck or the uh, Piccolo into assembling, uh, assemble, assimilated ability. <laughs> and then the Sun Goku or Sun Gohan and as well as Piccolo so that we can go ahead and play it right after. But really any other target here, I mean, it's that's pretty much it. Every, everything else sort of works in your favor. Uh, the only thing that really would be annoying is if he didn't awaken, if they prevented that, and as well as if they removed everything from your field. Uh, you just kinda, again, you play into Gogeta, you play into Fu right after, uh, and you play defense from there. That's pretty much the list. I don't really wanna talk anymore. So let me know what you think about this one tomorrow is another deck another day definitely subscribe when you can join the discord and i will see you in the next one Later.